With plummeting stocks and store closures plaguing the chain, Noodles & Company has some considerable work to do if it wants to maintain its position as the go-to location for an international assortment of carb bowls. Here are some legitimate reasons why this restaurant is struggling. In February of 2017, Noodles & Company announced it was shutting down 55 locations, which was more than 10% of its restaurants at the time. The company cited underperformance, claiming its overall earnings would have increased by $7.3 million if not for those 55 deadweights. So why did they need to take such drastic measures? Chain restaurants are not so hot right now. With a growing preference for local, sustainable food, a lot of younger customers are shunning chain restaurants in favor of dining at home. This shift in tastes has left a lot of restaurants reeling. But Noodles & Company is in a particularly vulnerable position because of the wide variety of global dishes they offer. In an attempt to appeal to everyone, you can risk appealing to no one. And it also drives up costs. According to a Forbes write-up, localizing a global menu may be a great idea but it requires too many employees, making the product too costly to deliver, especially when it might be cheaper to stay home. When you're cooking at home, pasta is generally one of the cheapest options around. A bag of noodles at your average grocery store chain barely sets you back $2. That means it's pretty cheap and easy to replicate the noodles and company experience at home. And some critics just don't think the chain is high enough quality to justify the cost of dining there. A staff writer for the CU Independent claimed, I could have gone to Safeway to buy some noodles, some marinara, and a chicken breast, cooked it all myself, added some spices, and still spent less than $9. Plus, it would have tasted better. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. In 2016, Noodles & Company got itself in a heaping bowl of hot water thanks to two major lawsuits. After a security breach exposed the credit and debit card information for customers at 28 Noodles & Company locations, the chain was sued by an Oregon credit union for failing to take proper security measures. They argued that, as a result, banks were forced to pay massive costs to replace compromised cards and refund fraudulent transactions. The case was later dismissed, but Noodles & Company wasn't so lucky with another lawsuit that year, agreeing to pay more than $3 million to former employees. Those employees had alleged that they were made salaried employees and given the ceremonial title of assistant manager so the company could avoid paying them overtime wages they would have been due as hourly employees. Noodles & Company never admitted any wrongdoing, but the events of 2016 left a bad taste in the mouths of many customers. These days, the only thing trendier than gluten-free diets is making fun of gluten-free diets. You don't even know what gluten know is. What gluten is? Gluten's a vague term. It's, it's, it's something that's used to categorize things that are bad. You know? Calories. That's a gluten. But for people with celiac disease, gluten is no joke. And unfortunately, Noodles & Company is about the worst place you can eat if you want to remain gluten-free, something they even admit on their website, saying, Even with a strict adherence toward maintaining spotless restaurants, we simply have too much wheat and gluten present to be able to eliminate the cross-contamination on our equipment and food prep areas. That's not just a problem for people with celiac, though. Given the widespread popularity of the gluten-free diet, it's a problem for the whole chain. When a large portion of your customer base can't eat your food, that's not good. Keto was the most popular diet of 2018, and it isn't exactly noodle-friendly. Keto enthusiasts are primarily consuming foods that are high-fat and low-carb, so flour-based pasta is a no-no. That's why Noodles & Company introduced the zucchini-based noodle, or zoodle, to menus in May 2018. CEO Dave Benninghausen happily explained, For years, the company struggled with the perception that noodles and pasta are unhealthy for you due to the relatively high amount of carbohydrates in our core dishes. The zucchini noodle has allowed us to address this concern. It was a hit, leading to their best sales quarter in six years. Overall, the sales were up 3.7% for 2018. Still, Zoodles haven't solved all their problems. Though the promise of Zoodles led to a 22% stock surge in April 2018, stock prices dropped back down by 20% in October 2018. So will Zoodles save the day? You know what they say, the proof is in the noodles. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite restaurants are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.